Hi, this is Wonder Kids, a SciTech podcast where you send in your big science questions and the amazing SciTech staff find the answers. My name is Rose, and I've been doing a lot of thinking because of a question sent in by Isaac. Hi, my name is Isaac, and I was wondering a question. Why do humans think? And to answer that question, we have Leah joining us today. Hi, I'm Leah and I'm a SciTech presenter. I spend my time in the planetarium using my degree in astrophysics, but I also enjoy presenting puppet shows to our younger visitors. In general though, I just love science and learning new things, which is why I love this question. And I have to say, it certainly is an interesting question that really does make you think, why do humans think? Well, the simple answer is so that we can do stuff. What is your favorite thing that you like to do? Is it going to school, playing with friends, learning something new or eating food? Whatever it is, I can promise you that the only way you can do your favorite thing is by thinking. That might seem a little strange. So first, let's take a look at how humans think. To think, we use that big organ in our head, our brains. Our brains are very impressive. In fact, our brains work way more efficiently than the most powerful computer you can imagine. And amazingly, it does everything for us. Not just think, but to breathe, to sleep, to move, to eat, everything. The science that studies how brains work is called neuroscience. And thanks to neuroscience, we have managed to learn a lot about brains over the years. For example, The way that the brain works is by using something called a neuron. A neuron is a tiny little bit in the brain that is really good at passing messages to other parts of the body. The brain can function thanks to the connection of one neuron with another. In each of our brains, we have a network of 86 billion neurons, all connected to each other. This means we can have lots of neurons exchanging information with each other all at the same time. When we think, this is what's happening. Neurons are sending their signals and communicating with another part of the brain or even another part of the body. For example, when you look outside, you can see lots of things at once, from the sky to trees, maybe some animals or other houses. Your eyes see this and then sends all that information to your brain. Thanks to all the many neurons you have, your brain is able to recognize that tree, that cloud, that bird flying in the sky all at once. It is remarkable what the brain can do. Now, when we are thinking, we are using a part of the brain called the cerebrum, the largest part of our brain. Your brain is actually thinking all the time, even when you may not realize it, such as right now. As you listen to my voice, your brain is thinking away. It recognizes the words and understands what I'm saying. And we can think in different ways as well, from hearing our voice in our heads to seeing a picture in our minds, imagining what something tastes like, remembering an old memory, and even feeling a strong emotion such as being happy or sad. For example, what if I said chocolate ice cream? In your head, you might be starting to picture what it looks like, remembering how it tastes, Remember how cold it feels on your lips or how much you love to eat it. They are all thoughts that you just had in your brain. And our thoughts can range from simple things like remembering what chocolate ice cream tastes like to trying to solve a really difficult homework problem. All of it is just our brain thinking away. So now that we have a pretty good idea on how we think and what exactly thinking is, let's get back to the question of why. Why do we think? At the start, I said we think so that we can do stuff. Because as we now know, whatever we do, we are always thinking. It's just what our brain does. Our brain's main purpose is to keep us alive. And that is why we think. But there is more to it than that. Because as humans, we are very curious species, constantly wanting to know more. The simple fact that you ask this wonderful question shows that. This means that we don't only think so that we can do stuff, 
what we think so that we can discover the answers to the many questions that we have. By thinking, it means we can learn, we can understand and make sense of the world around us. But it also means that by thinking, we can grow and improve, helping us all to become better. Think of some of the great achievements made by humans from discovering electricity to the internet to understanding how our planet is connected to the rest of the universe and also sending humans to the moon. All of these achievements are amazing and yet they all started as thoughts in the human brain. A lot can be accomplished thanks to one simple thought and that is why humans think and why they will always keep thinking. So don't stop thinking. Who knows what your brain can achieve? Thanks for such a thoughtful question. Wait, so Leah, I'm thinking even when I have no thoughts. Yeah, your brain is always thinking so that you can do things like move and breathe. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Leah. We also learned a new word today, neuroscience. This is the study of the brain. Scientists that study the brain are called neuroscientists. A neuron is a little bit of your brain that passes messages to other parts of your body. Thanks for listening to Wonder Kids. This podcast is brought to you by SciTech. Explore your world through wonder.